Guys, man, today is a sad day for Warzone players. The Grau hit a nerf. The MP5 hit a nerf. Every single gun in the game, did, well, probably not every single gun in the game. I mean, like, the FAL did pretty good. I mean, it got a buff. It's it's not doing too bad. But the Grau hit a pretty bad nerf, guys. But it's not as bad as some people might think. Like, the recoil pattern is almost the same as it was. The only thing I would say got really nerfed is the actual distance and the damage it does at distance. And the MP5, if you're not someone who uses the 10 millimeter auto round mags you're kind of good as well but we're going to talk about that we're going to get into actual details about these nerfs and i'm going to give you guys the brand new meta meta muda mira mira however you want to pronounce it it doesn't matter guys man we're going to talk about them give you guys some best classes as well to use in warzone and let's get straight into it What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video man. Today we're going to be talking about the Grau, the nerf it hits and the MP5 and I'm still going to be giving you guys a best class setup for the MP5 and for the M4A1 because these are the two guns I believe that some people are going to start running and then it's going to slowly turn into everybody using this but the Grau ain't that bad, I'm going to tell you guys that right now, let's be honest, I did some testing, it ain't as bad as some people make it seem. So let's talk about the nerfs first but before we do guys, if you could hit a like on on this video i would truly appreciate that we're gonna go for a thousand five hundred likes i mean <clears throat> we're talking about the growl getting nerfed maybe i shouldn't ask for likes but it is what it is guys let me know down in the comments below if you're happy or if you're angry about the growl hitting a nerf and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on as well we are so damn close to 600k it's just crazy so let's talk about the mp5 nerf first so it got a decreased damage range and it is very noticeable when you're actually playing the game if you go anywhere above I'd say around 25 meters and further it's going to take an extra bullet than it used to to actually kill someone So that 25 meter range isn't much if you guys look at the bomb right here It's not that far like it really isn't that far at all 25 meters You would think it wouldn't be that much But this is kind of where the damage range takes a hit but anything after that It's still gonna do the same damage so you don't have to worry about it too much But then it also got decreased 10 millimeter damage range reduced long range to 10 millimeter auto or ammo and slight recoil increase to 10 millimeter ammo so this one is kind of bad if you guys love to use this ammo which is a very good one i don't blame you guys for using it whatsoever this hit a pretty bad nerf so the damage sucks the long range damage sucks and the slight recoil increase it is slight yes it's barely noticeable but it is still a actual nerf to it so i mean the mp5 if you're using the 10 millimeter auto round mags, I wouldn't use it. I, I would just stop using it. It hit a pretty bad nerf. But if you're not using it, the MP5 is still the slaying SMG for up close and mid range gunfights. I mean, I'm using it right here in this gameplay in the background, and it's smacking people. Like, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And I feel like I'm still doing as good as I was before the nerf actually came. But let's talk about the Growl fast. And then after this, we'll get into the best class setup that I want to give you guys. But the Growl 5.56. <laughs> Let's start this off. It got a damage range reduction, slight increase to high frequency recoil, very slight, like it's barely, I think it's actually even a little better. Like if we look at this right here, this is from Jay God. He does a lot of testing and stuff like that. And uh, I, I never asked him if I could use this photo, but I hope he's okay with it. But uh, if you look at that right there, the slight e uh, increase to high frequency recoil. I mean, if you look at the before and after, it kind of looks a lot easier to control the recoil on the after picture like it looks like they didn't nerf it they kind of buffed it i mean maybe they meant to nerf it but it doesn't look that bad at all and then reduced recoil compensation and decreased range on tempest 26.4 inch archangel and fss 20.8 inch nexus barrel so pretty much what this is it's it got nerfed there is a little more recoil apparently and i'm gonna i'm gonna paraphrase something i i heard here someone said the recoil isn't nerfed <laughs> whatsoever but the damage range reduction is so you're not going to be doing as much damage um at certain ranges as you used to but i still feel like it's going to be one of the most accurate guns in the game maybe the m13 is going to be a little more accurate but i still feel like this one's going to be shredding people but i will say i have a feeling people are going to run back to the m4a1 and a lot of people are still going to be using the mp5 which is why i have two best class setups right here for you guys for those weapons and the m4a1 
um it doesn't it, like, there's no nerf to it i mean other weapons got nerfed and i have to say a weapon that did get nerfed was the cr56 a max it got decreased damage range which i don't see why they would nerf the cr56 a max but not touch the fennec like i feel like if any of those two new weapons were the ones who needed a nerf it would definitely be the fennec and then the ak-47 got increased ads speed so yeah but uh, the FAL, at least you could do headshot one shots with those up close. But yeah, let's talk about the best class setups, guys. I got two of them right here that I want to share with you. So the first one is the M4A1, and this class is really nice. Like, this is an accurate class. It's not going to have the fastest ADS speed. I gave you guys this class earlier this week, but in case there's some people that are new to the channel and stuff, and you haven't seen this class yet, definitely use this class in Warzone. It is a nice one, but don't use it for up close. We're still going to be using the MP5 for that. So the first thing you want to run is the muzzle monolith suppressor because you obviously need to use that in warzone you get that sound suppression and you get damage range which is really cool to have and it didn't get nerfed so it's nice to still use it we'll, we'll probably outshoot the uh what's it called the goddamn growl at long range because let's actually look at the base damage on the m4a1 is 28 and on the growl it's 28 as well but what i really like about this one on the m4a1 is that the time to kill is a lot faster than the growl and since the growl already got nerfed it's going to be even faster on the M4A1, so I would definitely use it. The next is the Barrel Stock M16 Grenadier. You get even more damage range, you get bullet velocity, and you get recoil control, which is really cool to have. You do lose some ADS and you do lose some movement, but it's all kind of worth it in the end run. The underbarrel you want to throw onto this class is the Ranger Foregrip. And I know a lot of people tell me, well, dude, why do you use the Ranger Foregrip and not another four? Dude, it's, it's good. You get that recoil control and you get aiming stability, which is going to make this gun compete in get against the growl so definitely do it but you are losing aim walking movement speed and you are losing more ads which kind of sucks the ammunition you want to run on this one is the 60 round mags obviously just to get those more bullets but you are again losing ads which you actually don't lose because once you lose ads twice it is completely cancelled out. If you don't have any attachments that give you ADS, you could only lose it twice. So don't worry about that right there. Then you are losing more movement speed, but we already lost that twice as well. So it's already maxed out. We can't lose any more of those. So pretty much we're getting those 60 bullets, and we're not losing any more ADS, and we're not losing any more movement speed. It's already cancelled out. And the last attachment that you want to throw on this is going to be the rear grip, the rubberized grip tape. If you really care about your ADS speed, and you kind of want to bump it up maybe once, you could definitely go ahead and throw on the stippled grip tape to get that ADS speed and that sprint to fire speed. But the reason I'm running the rubberized is because I want that extra recoil control. This gun is already nice and we got three attachments now that give us recoil control. So this gun is going to be very easy to shoot people at long ranges. And this class is one that you definitely want to think about using in Warzone because you will be able to drop people nicely. Now the MP5 class, this again is for up close. Remember, it got nerfed at range and you shouldn't be using an SMG anywhere above 50 meters i would never suggest it but the mp5 class you got the barrel fss mini which gives you ads speed and movement speed which is what you really want in those up close gunfights you're losing bullet velocity and you're losing recoil control but if you're up close you, you don't need bullet velocity like not whatsoever practically you'll hit them the second you hit them i know it's not a hit scan or anything like that but you will be hitting the people the second you aim at them. The stock is going to be the FTAC collapsible. You want that extra movement speed and that extra ADS all over again. So that's really, really nice to have. And now that we do actually have two ADSs on the gun, we can't get it again. So we don't need much more attachments to focus on the ADS anymore. Now we could focus on actually controlling the recoil and stuff, which is the next attachment, the underbarrel commando foregrip for that recoil stabilization and that aiming stability. Now we are losing some movement speed on this one, but we already have two positives so kind of cancels out one of them meaning that we still have one positive towards movement speed and two towards ads speed on this class already so the ads is max the ammunition is going to be the 45 round mags we can't use the 10 millimeter it hit a nerf we can't use it it's gone say goodbye rest in peace 10 millimeter auto round mags but we are losing ADS here, so we're back down to only one ADS speed advantage, and I don't like that. I don't. When I'm up close, I like to have the fastest ADS possible, so we're going to go ahead and throw on the rear grip, stippled grip tape to get that ADS speed back, but also have a nice sprint to fire speed to be able to shoot people as fast as possible after sprinting, and we're losing some aiming stability on that one right there, which isn't bad whatsoever, especially up close, you don't got to worry about it. So that is the two new guns, guys. Definitely use these classes on Warzone. They're going to be doing a lot better now that the Growl actually did hit a slight nerf. 
and a lot of times it's a placebo effect. So people think the Grau got nerfed. It's not as bad as it seems, but people are going to start noticing faults about the Grau. Less and less people are going to start using it, and uh, you're just going to start doing good. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, if we could hit 1,500 likes, that would be amazing. Let me know what you guys think of the nerf down in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one.